So, Lori, your campaign's entering your final uh, stretch. Uh, how's it been going so far? It's been going very well. I have a wonderful team and uh, a lot of support, so I'm looking forward to uh, finishing this. And so how confident would you say you are in your chances uh, in the nomination? Well, it's always good to have an appropriate amount of nerves, and uh, but my team has worked very, very hard, as, as have I, getting the message out about sending the right voice to Victoria. I see. Okay. And so, um, obviously, you know, you've based your campaign out of Fort St. John's, where you live. But um, uh, have you been going out to other uh, communities in the surrounding area? Oh, absolutely. I've uh, been to Fort Nelson already, as well as Hudson's Hope, and heading back up to Fort Nelson. I see. I see. And so, what kind of things are you uh, hearing from residents of those areas? Well, really, we're hearing about the economy, first and foremost. Uh, but as well as uh, with the economy, because we do expect it to uh, come back, the importance of building foundations to uh, in communities is adequate health care education and public safety and that is vital and it's something that we've been working on for a long time right and so that ties into your main platform about uh, sustainable communities right absolutely it's sustainable communities and as things move and issues change uh, what's really required is uh, that proven leadership to make sure that whatever issues come up can be dealt with I see. Okay. And so um, you've talked about this before on the campaign trail, I know, but why did you decide uh, to get into provincial politics? So the province is something that I have always remained focused on. Uh, I have not taken my eyes off of, uh, off of that. And w when you're in a local government situation, you have the ability to address education, health care and public safety, but within a certain sphere of influence. Outside of that, all you can do really is advocate for those, uh, those aspects of community. So moving to provincial politics will allow me to take that knowledge and those skills and the confidence that I have on those topics to a different uh, table. I see. Okay. And so, like, how, how has your job as mayor prepared you for that shift? Uh, it has prepared me in a lot of ways. First of all, to understand the governance of uh, how th they work, to be able to connect with decision makers and understand um, the different aspects of uh, their decisions and what they look for, so that you can find solutions for them a lot easier. I'm a firm believer that you never take problems down to Victoria or you will come back with a Victoria solution. I believe it's important to create an opportunity for the stakeholders here in Peace River North to make those solutions here and then take those solutions to Victoria. I see, okay. And so um, you ran this campaign the last time the nomination was open. Uh, you lost to Pat Pam in 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you learn from that campaign? Uh, a lot of it was uh, around the campaign itself. But uh, secondly, just knowing that uh, democracy is a beautiful thing and that there would be another opportunity that would come my way. So what would you say you'd learn from that campaign that's going to help you in this one? Well, it was really about recognizing a lot of the regional aspects and the issues that are that are impacting people's lives and uh, just connecting with them more from a leadership perspective. And that's what I've been doing for the last seven years. I see. Okay. And so what, what are some of your achievements um, in, in the last seven years uh, that you've been most proud of? Well, the last seven years, uh, what we have been able to accomplish is working with a lot of different partners, uh, having a remarkable conversation with the community around how the Site C Dam would impact the community, taking that knowledge forward into the Resource Municipalities Coalition in Northeast BC, and understanding a lot more about our neighboring communities and the um, issues that are impacting them, uh, being able to take our voice even further down to Victoria and over to Ottawa. And and making those uh, those connections in the networks that has been absolutely invaluable to have that network available to me and to understand from the uh, the elected uh, officials in the other communities how their constituents are feeling and then having those one-on-one -on -one conversations with those constituents as well I see so you did speak about the network that was built up uh, at your campaign launch mm -hmm. uh, how would that help you as an MLA Oh, well, I have a huge network and um, just being able to, to reach out uh, to people. I went up and uh, spoke with uh, Melody at the Buffalo Inn at Pink Mountain. She had some issues and uh, um, I either know who to reach out to or I know someone who's going to be able to do that. And, and that's the value of having a network. So that's all we have time for. Thank you, Laurie, for joining us and uh, we hope you join us tomorrow. Thanks, you.